in this video will be one of my many videos about the shift into higher dimensional consciousness business explaining business as we shift into higher conscious level one of the biggest things that's out there right now is how it affects our health how about what we eat eating a very high acidic diet causes cancer heart disease diabetes <laughs> and everything else that's bad so one of the half the stuff that's causing our health problem well, maybe a lot more than that is what we're eating so let's talk about the idea of eating healthy food but a fast healthy food so when you go on the internet you can watch all about um, all kinds of recipes that basically contain no meat and lots of vegetables so the idea of, of um, higher dimensional consciousness is also is very conscious about what we're eating and a lot of big companies are missing this because people are really shifting very fast and want to eat really healthy foods but there aren't really a lot of fast um, food alternatives so people are going to places like Subway or 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 something you know pitas and, and which contains a little more vegetable content and more salads and you can see people shifting but if you actually give them uh, present a fast food restaurants that would have very uh, healthy food the idea of having a chicken McNugget okay what, what about a veggie McNugget you see people on the internet making such things they could have them on a ball, a tube uh, all kinds of you know a loaf slice uh, and you know you could have something uh, so that could be very healthy so you could have the idea of having um, no meat but say having something like cheese and eggs and something like that still you know so you're shifting into healthier stuff so the idea of, of um, you could have a broccoli McNugget or a, a, a ball or something like that could be cheese and broccoli basically you could have a mushroom one a portobello mushroom um, um, you could have uh, all kinds of different ones with different spices and very tasty you know garlic whatever this goes for you don't have to make things that mimic hamburgers uh, you know veggie uh, burger um, uh, veggie hot dog veggie sausage you don't have to really mimic it that much just come out with total new things and tons of products are available out there there's tons of people uh, you know if I sat down with say 20 really good chefs um, and we go through scour the internet scour books you know in a year or two we could come out with tons of fantastic menus for lots of different fast food restaurants so the idea of a fast food fast restaurant is you could open up uh, separate chains all together and start promoting them and you'd find that they you know in the right locations that they'd be very profitable and you'd have a lot of people swarming to them now the, the fact that for business that you develop these other markets and other name brand restaurants they can be incorporated into your older restaurants where you could have if you have enough room you can have uh, a regular McDonald's but you could have a McHealthy and divide the restaurant in half share the kitchen kind of or some parts of the kitchen and you have a totally separate different menu I guess if you you know want a burger you go have a burger but if you want something healthy you have a healthy out of the same location or as uh, some restaurants uh, franchises whatever don't become as profitable um, they can shift you, you can sell them you can say okay we'll shift your franchise uh, from you know the greasy french fry burger starch red meat uh, sugar fried foods which is what causes a high acidic diet over to this healthier alternative so you can just switch your franchise and that way they're still in business still in the same location still selling people food but you've shifted and people really really want this right now but this isn't really going on out there the people in these executives in these companies missed the point now from 
the executive point of view, from the uh, stock market point of view, from the board of directors point of view, with all of this, is the idea of higher dimensional uh, business, higher dimensional consciousness. The idea of higher dimensional business is not uh, about the quarterly profits. It's about or, or all about just selling something for pure profit, you know. The idea of taking a forest and cutting all the trees down. Well, pff, you cut them all down, there's nothing left. Now what do you do? It's 50, uh, you know, 60, 80 years before you got trees that you can cut again. Now, so short, short term is, oh, I got, uh, you know, 10,000 acres, I got a lease, cut it all down. Now, the idea is, okay, I got a, you know, a lease on that property for 100 years, uh, which I can renew. Now, if you were picky and just cut certain trees down or selective trees and let the other trees go, you cut a tree. When you cut a tree down, the neighboring trees grow faster. There's no, more nourishment. While at the same time, leaving a space to seed another tree. So you don't really have to seed them. They seed themselves by very selectively. And you see this in hardwood bushes. Uh, you know, if you look back in history, back in I think in the 19 teens and 20s. Um, they, uh, in the United States, they outlawed clear-cutting of hardwood bushes because there wasn't going to be anything left. So they did selective uh, cutting of hardwood bushes and just take trees of a certain size. Well, they never run out. They still got lots of hardwood. It's still a good business because they had done that. Um, so the idea is in higher dimensional business, it's what's good for the all, not what's good for the one or the company or whatever. It has to be good for the company, but it has to be good for the all of the people, for nature, for everything. And then you, you will flourish because this is what people want. And if you're going to do it just for the, for the quarter, I mean, you're going to become a dinosaur, okay? Because you know, you, we saw what happened in retail with big companies like Sears and many, many other companies, how all of a sudden they wake up one morning and what's going on? Well, you know, a lot of fast food restaurants are this close to that happening. And when it starts to fall, it's going to fall very quickly. And you're talking bankruptcy, selling off uh, assets, and fast, 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 fast. So people not renewing their franchises with, and they renew it with somebody else and they jump ship and next thing you know you'd be like Kodak Eastman you know you're you know one year you're, you're selling lots of film and ten years later you're bankrupt and this is very close to happening you don't realize I'm a I've extended to you know fifth to eight dimensional consciousness. I'll make lots of videos explaining about extraterrestrials, other universes, quantum physics and all kinds of stuff but this is the most important thing I'm explaining about uh, business, uh, as in food, which is number one place probably to start, um, is in what we eat, as in healthy in our bodies. So, and as people are assisting, uh, uh, ascending to a fifth dimensional consciousness, um, they really want something healthy. And there's this whole huge market out there, and, and you, get, you guys, in big, uh, you know, fast food restaurant chains are, are totally missing this point, you know, about the idea of having, um, you know, fast food that's, that's very, um, that can be fast, but also very healthy. And the whole idea is when you, with, when you're selling burgers and fries, it's all starch, fried starch, uh, starch on the bun with uh, lots of formaldehyde and all kinds of other additives, plus you bleach it, you kill it, it's, it's a dead food. It's not a, you know, a live product. You says, what is it? Dead food. I don't know, process it properly. And you got all that fried meat with hormones and chemicals, uh, you know, and then you got the sugar in, in the soft drink, and then the aspartame, and poison, 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 poison. People don't want that anymore. So if you get so all you have to do is have a, a balance to be slightly uh, alkaline, slightly you know so you're not too acidic, and so you can still have some starch like uh, you know try to keep more whole grain um, when you're put adding to something has to combine the vegetables, the egg, cheese, uh, whatever some kind of starch whatever and maybe wheat, um, but as long as you have yeah, more vegetable content, you're fine. And a fruit juice from concentrate, uh, and you can have sweeten it, say, with cane, uh, uh, sugar cane uh, 
concentrated juice, but you're not really refining it. It's still uh, alive. This is a very important thing about this, this food thing. And this is with the genetic engineering, which, you know, everything's been designed, but you don't understand that. It's all, uh, everything is intertwined um, and all relates to each other. Uh, how our systems process it, recognize all these different things. I get into the quantum physics part of it all about, you know, uh, about, you know, it's not looking at things from a, um, um, a matter atom point of view because everything is holographic you have to look at from photons and energy point of view and so this is what's happening when you're you're messing with the food supply and everyone's getting sick and you know your profits you think you're, they taste good they don't realize what they're eating but now they do realize what they're eating and you're missing out on a wonderful great opportunity and I guess you know if you don't really um, you know if they don't understand you know these big companies that selling these fast food things if you really don't understand all of that stuff um, then uh, hey you know why don't we all just join together we'll form a, a corporation we'll start five or ten different ones of these uh, fast food uh, you know healthy fast food restaurants and we can have all different themes of course a broad range a couple of them do very well my video goes viral we all become investors and we all throw in a little bit of money like crowdfunding and uh, hey, we sit back and uh, we have profits, very comfortable lives and don't really do much of anything. We just had the, you know, collective, you know, consciousness to uh, go out and start it. And, you know, in a matter of a few years, other companies couldn't, would it, they couldn't um, catch up because you can't bail enough water out of a sinking ship because they're so focused on, on a sinking ship rather than creating a building a new one. Um, this is, you know, an understanding I do a lot of hypnosis um, and all is about focusing and how you manifest your reality. I have a video on manifestation as well. And because, you know, this is all a holographic universe and, and how, you know, videos and what I'm explaining now too is how, remembering how to play with the holographic universe in all the different dimensions that are in the, in this universe. Lots of other universes, but... And so this is um, explaining this part about business as in what we're eating. And, you know, I'll make other videos about many other um, ideas about business to uh, help uh, encourage you, inspire you to uh, an understanding, give you a road map. And this many, all my many other videos are to give you a road map and understanding of, of uh, these new ideas and concepts of things. So thank you, share my videos, check them out, it'll really help you understand and, and you know, collectively, collectively we can create a wonderful new world together. Thank you.